So hi everyone, this is Brian the 3D Print Creator and in this episode I'm going to show you some basic principles about the XY Setware for Pro, the slicing software which came with the DaVinci Pro printer. And with this slicing software you can slice your STL files so that they will be print on your printer. But you have to have some basic knowledge to have a good print. For example, this file I have loaded here. Uh, this is a file which is 180 millimeters in width. So it's fairly big and it just fits on the print bed. When I have to print this, I also can see here that there is some overhang because it consists of two layers. As you can see here, one layer is the bottom layer here. And the other layer is hanging above that. And there is no pilar or whatever between them. So if I would print this, this would need a lot of support. And I don't want to use support. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is that I'm going to turn this one a little bit around. And I place it in a way that, as you can see right now, that it's easier to print it. Because now I won't need a whole lot of support in between those two layers, but I can just use support only here in the circles. And that will be less support than uh, when I would have printed in the other way around. So this is easier to print. Now that I've done this, uh, there is still another problem and that is that there is not so much room between the object and the side of the print bed. And now there are several things we can do. We can leave it like this because uh, it won't turn red so it is printable. But when I'm going to print this uh, you will see that I have a problem and no brim can be supported here. And if there is no brim, then the printer will have a problem with it uh, because uh, when you print this in ABS, the material will shrink and will break loose from the print bed. And with the brim, you can fight against this, uh, this, this breaking loose of the bed. So what I'm needing to do here, what I need to do, is uh, I have to go to my... Well, not these settings, but these settings. Uh, why don't I see them? Because this is not selected. I have to go here and I have to rotate it. And with a rotation of 45%, like this, you can see that uh, it lays down on the print bed with a lot more space around it. So now when I would print it, uh, there would be more than enough room around it to print the brim. But now there is another problem. And that other problem is that your printer has the tendency to fill the big uh, spaces, the, the, the big uh, bottom and top layers, in a 45 degrees angle seen from this line. So now when the printer is going to print the bottom layer, it's going to print large lines just in the same manner as this object is laid down on the print bed. So it will print like this, all the way from this side to this side and back again and to the front again. So it won't be that strong. And the next layer, it will print like this. And also just on a 90 degrees angle from where the part is. So a 45 degree angle for this part is not that good to select because then the part won't, uh, won't have that strength you, will it, uh, you, you, you want it to have. So you need to give it another angle so the part will have more strength. And therefore I'm going to this setting and I'm going to choose for example uh, 30 degrees angle. Because with a 30 degrees angle I've got more than enough room 
here to place the brim around and still there is some room uh, so that the print will be printed with uh, strokes which makes it a lot stronger so now we have done this we have to go and take a look to some other settings at first we have to set the uh, settings for the printer and because I'm printing this with ABS I have to select what temperature it will print on well for the spool of ABS I'm using right now at this moment uh, it will be a temperature of 225 degrees centigrade because that's the best temperature for my uh, ABS material and I need my heated bed to be switched on and to place it on a 90 degrees uh, temperature because I need the heated bed there is a lot of uh, structure which is laying on the print bed and uh, the bigger the, the, the uh, material is on the print bed the more tendency it has to shrink and you have to fight that with warmth from the print bed now go to my general settings and here is a funny setting and you have to note it it's very very important uh, this layer doesn't need to be uh, very precise uh, the, the whole print doesn't need to be very precise so when I want a, a quick print I can go for for example uh, 0.4 millimeters of layer height or I can make it a little bit stronger and go to 0.3 millimeters then there won't be that much detail and I don't need it in this print but you have to consider some stupid thing because for example when I go to a shell thickness of two layers and I print it with a layer height of 0.3 millimeters then 2 times 0.3 will be 0.6 so my layer height and my shell thickness will be 0.6 millimeters in width and now when uh, the, the object is cooling down it goes very fast because I'm printing very fast and therefore the object will also uh, uh, have less time to cool slowly and easily now when I go to 0.2 and I print three layers then my printer will need more time to print this but again it is three times 0.2 so again it's 0.6 millimeters thick but now the printer has more time and the layer has more time to cool down consistently so it will have loss uh, it will have less shrinkage and because it will shrink less uh, also the forces applied to the ABS material will be smaller and with uh, smaller forces and, and, and less power to break it loose from the print bed uh, you will see that your print is better then we come to the infill here and the infill density can be set on a rectangular or a honeycomb pattern well honeycomb is the best because then we have the most strength in our part but when I go to a high density then there will be a lot of material and when there is a lot of material the material will be very strong and when it's strong and it's going to shrink because of its cooling down uh, then it will be strong enough to break loose from the print bed and just because I don't want it I won't, uh, won't have that much material so with an info percentage of only 10% there is enough strength for my part but the part won't be that strong to break loose from the print bed now I go to my speed settings and here in the speed settings you can set the, the normal uh, speed settings for your printer well for this part uh, it doesn't have to be that nice so 50 millimeters per second is very good for the small radiuses uh, I'm going to 30 millimeters per second and for the infill I even go to 60 millimeters per second and that's good for this printer uh, it can be that fast and therefore uh, I won't have to wait too long for the print to be finished then for the bridging well there is some bridge printing and because I have a lot of circles which has to be print and even though there is infill material uh, there is some bridging so I set it to 20 millimeters a second because then this printer uh, prints the best bridges 
And also for the non-printing movement speed, I don't go that fast because this is where uh, the printer has the tendency to hit your material uh, when it's flying over the, the, the parts. So at 45 millimeters a second, uh, this is going pretty fast and, and still it is handle. Uh, it, it, it's uh, how you say it. At 45 millimeters a second, you can handle it and uh, it will go very good. Then for the bottom layer, you want the printer to print a little bit slower because when the bottom layer is print, you want it to stick very good to the print bed and you want it to uh, adhere to the, the print bed with as much temperature as is possible. But you can't go higher than 90 degrees on this print bed because it's a Da Vinci Pro printer. And therefore you don't want it to be that fast. And when you go to 20 millimeters a second, uh, on ABS, that's a fairly nice speed. The retraction speed, I'll talk about later, and that's when we go to this retraction tab. Uh, the auto speed adjustment for small parts, well, this is very, very handy if you have small parts, but on this print we don't have them, so in this print we can leave it off. Then we go to the support. Well, we don't have that much room for support around the print, uh, the, the, uh, around the object. So therefore we can't use a large brim, but we can use a brim. And we're going to make that brim five millimeters thick. You can't go smaller than that, uh, but you need it. So we place it at five millimeters uh, thick. And also we need support. Uh, you can choose three settings for it. I choose the standard settings because I think standard is more than enough. Then we come to the retraction settings. Uh, the retraction length is how many millimeters your uh, filament will be uh, brought back in the nozzle when the printer is not printing. And six millimeters is enough. But when you're printing with ABS, and ABS is very hot and, and it stays in the nozzle, you won't, uh, you won't have the printer to do it too slow. So at your printing speeds, you can set your retraction speed. And normally this is set to 20, but for ABS 20 is way too low. You have to go to 60 to have uh, a nice retraction speed and to bring your filament back way enough uh, so that it won't drip. So retraction speed at 60 millimeters a second and your retractions at 6 millimeters. You want to have an active threshold so uh, when the, the head is moving for more than 2 millimeters only then it's retracting because uh, for smaller movements well who cares if it's leaking a little bit. And uh, the nozzle lifting, if you set this, then uh, the nozzle will be lifted from the print and there is a smaller chance of hitting the print while moving over it. But it also slows down the print very, very much. So I leave it at zero. Uh, I don't want the nozzle to lift before retracting. And uh, add extra filament after travel. This is if the printer is not fast enough with uh, bringing down the filament back again after it has been moving around. So when you see that, that uh, every time the printer starts printing uh, a new layer and you see that the first, for example, millimeter of this layer isn't printed because there isn't filament uh, flowing out of the nozzle, then you have to set this setting. But with this printer I know it's, it's good enough and you don't have to set anything here. Then I want a retraction to the beginning of each layer. I want to turn this on and I also want to disable the retraction within the current perimeter. Then we go to the extrusion ratio. Well, for this printer the extrusion ratio for the shells is perfect. You don't have to set anything. But what I found out with my printer, and this can be different at, at every printer, so don't just copy my settings, but for this printer, this, this is happening. Uh, my infill extrusion ratio was too high when it was at 100%, so I placed it down at a 95%. And you can see this when you print something at 95% infill, so when you place your infill at 95%, 
and you can't see that the infill has little gaps between it then the infill is too high so then you know that the extrusion is too high and you have to bring it down and at 100% I couldn't see my infill and at 95% I can see the infill so this is the correct setting for my printer now when everything is set I go to print but I'm going to cancel the print because I want to show you something else so I wait uh, until this is sliced and then when it's sliced and it's almost now I go to cancel and uh, I'll show you something which is very important to take care of and, and to see if that happens here at the, uh, the, the object you can see it, it has placed a brim around it this here is called the brim and it's also on the other side this here this is called the brim and because the brim is connected to the object it helps it to stay down on the print bed because ABS has a tendency to shrink and this gives you more surface area to hold down to the print bed and this is pretty good because uh, at this way uh, the print is hold down to the bed very good also this part here is very important sometimes when you print a large a large object on your print bed uh, you will see that you won't have this part here and why is it important well because your print head is coming from this angle so somewhere around here it's coming towards the bed but then the nozzle is leaking and uh, this leaking out of the nozzle will be handled with on this stroke so when it's printing this stroke also the filament leaking from the nozzle is being laid down here so when it starts to really print the object there is no filament leaking out of the nozzle anymore if you see that your print is too big and that this stroke won't be printed then it's time to have a toothbrush ready and just before your printer starts printing uh, you can use a toothbrush to just brush your nozzle and then also excess filament will be uh, removed and, and you will see that your print starts very nice so this is it for uh, how I set my settings in XY Setware for Pro and where you have to take care of also here we, we didn't talk about the infill but here you can see the infill uh, I took a simple infill, the, the normal, the, which is the, the, the middle mode and you can see it's enough infill to have those circles printed very nice so it's more than enough and you don't need more infill for a structure like this I hope you learned a lot about uh, printing with XY Setware for Pro if so then please like this video by giving it a like on YouTube uh, you can share this video as well and I would love you uh, if you support this channel by, uh, yeah, by taking an account on this channel. So uh, please take an account on this channel uh, and also uh, well, come back next week because every Thursday there will be a, a new video about printing with the DaVinci Pro printer. I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.